So my name is Marek Sadowski. I came here from Warsaw just to give this talk five years ago. And uh, we are having a summit uh, next week on Friday um, in Galvanize. If you want to learn a little bit about uh, containers, AI, and, um, and serverless, come over. Uh, free food for entire day, Friday, before Labor Weekend. Um, I'm giving those talks uh, to everybody. I gave the talk to Polish president, and I gave the talk to girls from Australia. Who knows who Wengie is? Who knows who Wengie is? I'm sorry, I'm the only one here. Um, so, um, so we start, um, I'm talking about today about Istio. Istio is the thing that is based on, on a couple things, but the Docker is the basic thing. If you, um, if you use Docker, um, usually you start with the building image, then shipping image, and running. And, um, and it's easy with one container. Uh, so when you do it in development, uh, it's pretty easy. Then it's getting more and more complex, and suddenly you are <laughs> out of the chart. And uh, for that, you start to use uh, orchestration services. And there are a couple of them out there. Um, we love, everybody loves in, um, um, in a bay, uh, in, a, in a Silicon Valley, Kubernetes. And it's um, across the globe now. It's a service that helps you running um, the, the containers in a very organized way. You direct the traffic, you have some er emergency situations. It's open source, driven by Linux Foundation, founded by, by Google. Thank you, Google, for that. And, um, and there is some architecture that allows you to, to drive it. And, um, and it's easy in the beginning, but sometimes you need something in addition to that. And for that, uh, Google, Lyft, and IBM founded Istio. Istio is, is the thing that you can use. And, um, there are a couple things that uh, Istio fixes for you. It's a, a smart routing and smart load balancing, a little bit more than what you get out of the, for the vanilla Kubernetes. Um, you have a couple things that you can check, so resi resiliency testing, so you can get that uh, your services tested, and uh, if you have service that is coming, you can test it against uh, timeouts and so on. And there are a couple of more things, like uh, telemetry and, um, policy enforcement, so uh, everybody gets the same stuff. And then, um, what is the architecture? It's a little bit like an uh, like add-on, like a parasite kind of, a parasite for your, your system. You see uh, your system in Kubernetes uh, uh, having these little things, uh, sidecars, and that was original concept, um, and we are using uh, Envoy by Lyft over there. So, um, so complete architecture today looks like this, and um, I will I will not dive into it completely today. But if you come uh, next week on Friday uh, to Galvanize um, by Howard Street, uh, you can you can learn a little bit more. But this list your architecture um, gives you a little bit of the uh, a couple things that you have like a service authentication, um, you have. Um, uh, request tracing and some uh, retry and breaker circuit breakers and uh, inside you have also authorization you have telemetry and so on little break uh, from this uh, condensed information I have uh, just three minutes more my son started to use uh, games that were uh, mostly uh, games on the phone uh, they they were not using cloud not using containers. And he bought, when he was uh, two years old, it was 2009, he bought this bloody thing, uh, the uh, Magic Beans, for 60 euros. And I was so upset, I had to call uh, Apple. Today, he asked me to play this Fortnite, and I have to buy V-Bucks to, or earn V-Bucks, which is even worse, because I'm spending uh, really hundreds of hours in order to, to buy him this uh, this dance or whatever, and crab dance, and he's sporting it, and he's saying I'm the coolest dad ever because I can do eagle dance. If you know, it's very pathetic that you know. And um, so Istio is having this very cool routing. I'm going to show it to you in a, in a minute. I have two minutes more. Uh, but it can, uh, if you have a new service and you'd like to check it out how it works, you can just test it very easily. You can see uh, various version of the service. On the other hand, you can, uh, you can trace it, for example, for, um, so let's see, uh, I have this uh, new Canary service for um, 
for iPhone, I would like to check it out just on iPhone, and then uh, the rest will get uh, what they, they were getting before. In addition to that, you have, you have some telemetry, as I was saying. I will show it. Uh, I have uh, one minute and a half. So, um, so you have a couple of telemetry systems. And uh, if you install Istio, um, you can use the out-of-the-box uh, system uh, with this. Uh, uh, this is the system uh, without Istio. Now, when you put the Istio on, you will see a um, couple, uh, couple additional services there. And you can um, inject, for example, a uh, uh, fault. That means uh, delays. And you can see how the system reacts. And you can all test it uh, in on, uh, on your demo system. And now we have a short demo. Maybe I'm, I'm going to do it. So, so um, we are using IBM Cloud in IBM, of course. You can use uh, Kubernetes clusters. Uh, we have acquired Red Hat. And we open, uh, we use OpenShift, which is based on uh, Docker, Kubernetes, and Istio. Um, and then, uh, when you install it, you can you can try with the um, uh, free of charge um, uh, clusters uh, in the beginning, and then uh, you can check your system if it's uh, working, how many nodes, and so on. But one of the things that is pretty cool is that you can get the add-on, and you can get uh, Istio just out of the box. And you can install this book info um, application, and then you can learn how to how to use it. And uh, also, it's described in a huge detail on the Istio page, Istio.io. And this sample application looks like this. Uh, it shows you, uh, in a nutshell, it shows you different stars. So it's these these are the different versions of the service, and um, and that's uh, pretty much it. I have. Four minutes, four seconds. So this is how you can drill down in the in the direction. So on that, I would like to finish. Thank you very much, Google, for uh, allowing me to speak to you. Uh, you are welcome to uh, to join us next week. Thank you.